Yes po, opo, this is my first time to do a vlog. That's why, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today, we are going to talk about the relevance of the principles of Catholic social teachings. Well, the purpose of my vlog is to bring awareness to many Christians on how we can be an authentic servant of God and also by doing the mission of Christ to the needy and other privileged. This is not just only for educational purposes, but to bring awareness to many Christians. Now, if you are ready, let's start. Let us define what is poverty. So, poverty is defined as a lack of money and productive resources necessary for long-term survival. Now, hunger and malnutrition restricted access to education and other basic services, social prejudice and marginalization, and a lack of participation in decision-making are examples of its expressions. May kasabihan pa nga, kasalanan mo na kapag mamamatay ka pa rin mahirap. I have five critical questions that I'm going to tackle about for this vlog. And make sure to listen. That the first one is why did God let the poor be poor? This is bakit naman hahayihinayaan ni Lord na mahirap yung ibang tao. Is sabi sa Bible, God loves the world. Makinig ka sa akin kasi di discuss natin yan. Now, the second question is how can the poor and rich get along? Number three is why some people poor? Bakit ni mga tao mahirap? Four is, how can we show our love to the poor? Paano natin magpapakita sa mga may hirap yung pagmamahal natin? Now, the last question is self-assessment. Have you ever given up something you needed or really wanted to help someone else? Let's tackle the first question. How can the poor and rich get along? Let me tell you a story first before we answer those hard questions. Did you remember the Typhoon Yolanda wherein lots of people died and washed out their houses? After hearing that news, a lot of foreign people donate cash for them and our local community also helped by giving canned foods, clothes, blankets, and money that can turn into their foods. There are still people who are kind by heart and doesn't care about their wealth as long as they can help other people. As of now, there are free houses that are built just for them and it's the fruit of the donations from other countries. The poor and the rich can get along as long as there is kindness in this world. It's the matter of helping each other in times of need. Second, how can we show our love to the poor? A basic moral test is how our most vulnerable members are faring. In a society marred by deepening divisions between rich and poor, our tradition recalls the story of the last judgment and instructs us to put the needs of the poor and vulnerable first. Jesus always spends time with those who are most in need, including the sick, or those who are considered outcasts. We are invited to follow Jesus' example and show a special care for people, especially the poor who are most in need. Third question, why some people poor? Why are, why are some people poor? Bakit may mga taong mahirap? Now, let's talk about this. Humiliating and discriminating of other people and the society system itself means lack of love. Without love, there is no God. They didn't embody the wisdom of God gave us through Bible. Why some people poor? Because they didn't even choose to be poor. They made poor by other people and the system who gives off negative vibes. For the last question, have you ever given up something you needed or really wanted to help someone else? 
I myself try to give my to give up my own allowance for someone who really needs it. Like I really save money for my own desires. Because guys, I am a shopping addict. Now and there's one of my friends needs emergency money, so I lend her some and didn't expect to babayaran niya pa ako. Since syempre tumulong ako na hindi humihingi ng kapalit. But then there's this one time na ako naman yung nangangailangan. And sakto nakita kami and pinahiram niya ako. And she said, wag ko na raw siyang bayaran. You see, kapag nagtanim ka naman nga ng kabutihan, pipitas ka rin ng kabutihan. Now, I have one question for you guys. Make sure to answer this honestly and comment down your answers. Ikaw, may nag-give up ka ba para lang makatulong? May nag-give up ka na ba para lang makatulong? I wanted you, I want you guys to answer this question honestly as possible. And that's all for our first vlog. I hope na marami kayong natutunan sa kadaldalan ko. Char! Continue being a good servant of God. God bless you and stay safe everyone. Love, Gail.